Hey. Alright. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's better. <laughs> so, uh, I just got out of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. The ninth film by Quentin Tarantino. So, what did I think of it? Well, it's... The bottom line is it's good. Um, it's hard to describe because it's it's like Seinfeld. It's the, the day in the life of. So I know it's not going to be for everybody, but it's... people. I guess the most easiest criticism people can give to this movie is that it's slow and kind of... and it meanders. And it goes on, not tangents, but like it, side, it, side characters have conversations that uh, basically attribute nothing to the overall story but that's the thing is that this is real life and it talks about how in the movies you know there's there's uh, tension and stakes and overacting not overacting but act, you know acting there's you know so it really does um, not polarize um, shows the dichotomy not the dichotomy the what do you call it? The the black and white, you know, how fiction is all dramatic. It's full of the... My friend says that that, that uh, you have real life and what fiction is, you know, like the movies and all that, is the real life with all the boring parts cut out. And that's true. You have all the suspense, the emotion, you know, you have all that stuff in the movies. But then when you get to the real life, there isn't a whole lot of emotion. You have emotion, but it's evenly spread out between long vistas, you know, distance, you know, long stretches of, of boredom. And that's life. Like, right now, you know, my life is been, for the past six months, it's been dramatic. I've been, you know, I've been uh, uh, the, the going, trans transferring from job site to job site. Uh, I was under investigation for nothing. So, which amounted to nothing but clout. Thank you. Thank you. That, that was, I, I just needed that so much. It's the age we live in. And also from the age we live in, the theater I saw this at, you know, the, day, the thing is now, nowadays you don't go in for a job interview when you ask for it with your credentials and all the stuff in hand. You have to go on a website and wait and then when they are told about you from this third and second party, second and third party people, then they call you and you're brought in. So this information broker can do what they need to do. I guess they help with the sorting process. I'm guessing at this point, but it should be too far from truth. So then you, you come in, you give your, they should already have your credentials, and then you have the interview from there there but what are you gonna do uh, so yeah so this film just really showcases life you know life isn't good we have insecurities Dalton our lead character is full of insecurities he was top dog but now he's realizing he's getting old and now he's relegated to uh, being the central star of a TV show to being the guest villains on various uh, hit TV shows for the past like eight years So he's trying to get out of that and his way out of that is to be in a spaghetti western Now a bit of a history here spaghetti westerns in the beginning were not liked Because they were made by Italians and Italians wanted them to be made by a more realistic the heroes were gritty people weren't you know tailored you know uh, uh, clean suits Pressed and all that, you know, uh, the guys were in clean cut, they had more ambiguous morality, you know. So, uh, the whole spaghetti western was, uh, was seen as more of a sub genre until the good, bad, and the ugly, and then people liked it. So, until then, but that was in the 70s, this takes place in the 60s, so it's gonna be a while until that, uh, that comes around. So, um, so anyway, so this movie is about life. And life is unpredictable. 
Life can be scary. Life can be boring. And, uh... <coughs> but at times it can be rather interesting. I, had a, I just recently had a cross-country trip with my sister. I capsized an inflatable canoe, twisted my wrist. Um, that was mentioned in the in the uh, press, not press, but like on a blog or something in Arizona. And uh, I was mentioned as the brother, or yeah, as the brother who was able to get out on his own. I was able to get that uh, little tidbit of information, but yeah. My sister had to be rescued. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, this really feels like life. You know, it's a movie about life. It's a movie about moving on and accepting that. You know, you, and life changes, and life goes in strange directions, and it's all just really, really weird sometimes. But you hang in there, and at time, and then life surprises you. What comes next? All right. Well, so yeah. Because I don't want to spoil any of the film, anything more than I have. Uh, but just bear with it and let it. Oh, and it subvert, subverts expectations like crazy. Yeah, nothing goes the way you think this is gonna go <laughs> at all. And that is true. That is life. But, uh, yeah. I say just uh, bear with it, you know, for the long stretches. The movie. And life. And, uh, see what happens at the end. Again, you just might be surprised. Alright, so, uh, take care. And, uh, as always, get the movies. Bye.